On today's highlights, the unifying principle is hail to the chief. People want to be in the presence of and pay homage to important people. Why are celebrity events important to us? The people celebrated Jesus' arrival in Jerusalem as the coming of God's kingdom. Today's key verse reads, And they that went before, and they that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Mark chapter 11, verse 9. Jesus and his disciples journeyed to Jerusalem for the upcoming Passover. At this point in Jesus' earthly ministry, whenever he went, crowds gathered, curious about the miracles he has performed. During one such stop, a few Pharisees in the crowd questioned Jesus about divorce to trap him, but instead he clarified the issue for them. He later gave private teaching on divorce to the disciples. As Jesus and the disciples continued to journey on, parents brought their children to him for a blessing, and a rich man approached inquiring what he should do to gain eternal life. When Jesus told him he must give away all his riches and follow him, the man sadly departed. Jesus taught his disciples that it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. However, Jesus added, although it is impossible with man, all things are possible with God. Once they reached the direct road to Jerusalem, Jesus pulled the twelve aside and predicted his death a third time. James and John requested to be leaders in Jesus' kingdom, but he taught them all that in his kingdom the leader must serve all. Finally, Jesus healed blind Bartimaeus, who sat on the road just outside of Jericho. Once healed, he joined the crowd that had been following Jesus to Jerusalem. Jesus chose to ride into Jerusalem on an animal that fit into the bigger picture of his role as Messiah. He is coming as a king, but with a different kind of kingdom. His kingdom is a kingdom of peace, not war. He rides into Jerusalem not as a conquering lion, but the Prince of Peace. The Greek word Hosanna comes from the Aramaic phrase Hoshiana. Its original meaning is a cry for help. O oh, save, or help I pray. Coupled with the blessing that follows, as in Mark, it denotes an expression of praise, rejoicing, or greeting. This psalm is one of the Hallel psalms of praise. It is also known as the Egyptian Hallel because it praises God's saving act of delivering Israel from Egypt. Jesus' riding into Jerusalem on a donkey is more than just the fulfillment of messianic prophecy. It is also a symbolic action in the manner of the Old Testament prophets. By riding into Jerusalem on a donkey, he publicly shows that he is the king the Jews have been waiting for. This act defies the Romans, who had political authority over Palestine at the time. It also defies the local Jewish ruler Herod and the high priest who ruled alongside Rome. Jesus goes into the temple and looks around. The reign of the Messiah is intricately bound with the temple, since the temple was a symbol of God's presence on earth. It is fitting for Jesus to go into the temple, although he does not cleanse it at the moment. Let's discuss the meaning. Sometimes our view of God is limited to our present wants. We forget that Jesus came so we could have eternal life. What are some ways we try to shape God to meet our wants? How can we learn to express our gratitude for eternal salvation? Here's our lesson. We live in a society that engages in celebrity worship. We spend hundreds of dollars buying tickets to see our star athletes. We camp out for hours to hear our favorite singers. We stand in long lines to get our pictures taken with movie stars. We want to dress and act like celebrities. We love and honor them. However, Jesus is the only one who truly loves us. He loved us so much he suffered, died, and rose again for our salvation. We should strive to live lives that honor him. So let's make it happen. We often pray for a house, a promotion, or a mate. There's nothing wrong with looking to God to take care of our every need. However, we should not only limit him to what we perceive as important. Jesus came so that we could have eternal life, and for this, we should honor him. So for our daily devotions, let's ask God to show us ways we can honor him, and whatever he reveals, let's do it. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus.